Hello everybody, I'm Dallin Christensen from Whiteboard Business Partners and this is another edition of At The Whiteboard to help you become more profitable and productive in your business. In my introductory note to this series last edition, I talked about the four different types of funding. Today, let's talk about the first type of funding that we'll talk about to grow your business and that's your own personal savings. There are two pros and two cons related to using your own money to help grow your business. The first, it has the least amount of risk. Whether you're taking money from a bank or from an outside investor, those people want their money paid back and it's only logical. They're investing money in your business to get a return. It's part of their business model. If you don't return that money, they'll find ways to get that money from you one way or another. Investing your own money in your business gives you the least amount of risk so that you can sleep a little bit better at night. Second, you can build the business on your terms. If you read the popular business press today, you'll see plenty of stories of people who took outside money to run their businesses, but then had to run businesses that didn't necessarily fit with their goals or their vision. They had to answer to somebody else, especially if those people ultimately took a majority ownership stake in the company. Now let's look at the cons of running a business with your own savings. The first is you may have to accept a slower rate of growth. If you're taking less money to invest in your business, you may have to make harder decisions about whether you really want to grow or are you going to be content with growing at a slightly slower rate, knowing that it's your money in the business, which has less risk and you maintain full control of the company. And finally, it requires more careful budgeting from both a business and a personal perspective. If you think about running your own business, personal finances are such a big part of that. You need to make sure that you're carefully budgeting your personal expenses so that you have sufficient money to invest in the business after all the personal bills are paid. Next week, we'll talk about how getting money from a bank can impact your business. For more tips and tools on how to help you grow your business profitably and productively, visit www.whiteboardbusiness.com. I'm Dallin Christensen for Whiteboard Business Partners, and I'm here to help you make your business happen.